Hi, how are you today? I have an audition that I'm going to be doing a self-taping on and they want very little makeup. So I just thought I'd hang out with you and put on very little makeup. I mean, it's not like real life very little makeup because to be honest, my real life very little makeup is no makeup at all. Maybe a little under eye concealer and that's it. But this is for an audition and everything has to, you know, pores and everything have to all be perfected. So this is sort of, oh look, it's a blimp. Sorry, easily distracted. <laughs> so this is basically a film and television, very little makeup look. So that being said, let's get started. This video is more about telling you what's going on in my life than doing makeup. If you are only interested in the makeup, yeah, just turn this off, it'll be boring. Uh, but yeah, if you've been wondering where I am and what's going on with me, uh, stay tuned. Let's get to it, shall we? Very sheer foundation. I love doing uh, SPF 50. This is from Color Science. They sent this to me for free. And you know, I tell you this every time, uh, one bottle, uh, but I've been using this for a year and it is my absolute favorite. It is just by itself, it almost looks like makeup because it's just zinc oxide. So by itself, it looks like makeup and then I mix it with a little foundation and I mixed it with a few different foundations and it gives me a really terrific finish. So that's what I'm doing today. Using a stainless steel palette little glob of sunscreen. The foundation that I'm using today is Physician's Formula and I have thrown away the packaging to tell me exactly what they call this foundation, but I will drop the link down below for you. As always, I will drop a link to Amazon or Sephora or Ulta or wherever I find something, but pretty much everything I use, you can find wherever you prefer to shop. If you do use the link that I give you, I earn a small commission, but you shop wherever is convenient for you, of course. So this is Physician's Formula, and I've got like one third foundation to two thirds sunscreen. And just gonna mix that up a little. And I'm going to be applying with my Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush. Have I kept you in suspense long enough? We bought a house. But we are still in the process of buying the house. Escrow closes in eight days. So, you know, stuff can still go wrong. So, not counting our chickens until they're hatched. But we bought a house. We will be moving in 14 days. Walk and talk, Monique. Where's my under eye concealer? I'm gonna go with my old standby, the orange highlight one. The house we are getting is small. About 1300 square feet. It is small, about 1,300 square feet, but it has a 
finished basement that is just a big empty room with a concrete floor. Uh, but that is going to be my studio. So I will have a 700 square foot studio so I can make my videos and sort of like have my work environment so I can, I can more easily work from home. It's not gonna be quite so confined as this. And yeah, I'll probably be recycling all of the backgrounds that you've seen. Eventually I will decorate the space, but at first it is just going to be exactly like my apartment here. So I don't usually take you into my bedroom and my living room, but you will see all of that. Uh, so the studio is gonna look just like my place here and just like my old place, but all in one room. And super excited about that. Upstairs in the main body of the house, we're gonna to wanna to do some work. It's, it's small, we're gonna leave it small. Uh, but we are going to reconfigure rooms and possibly eventually put in a staircase to connect the studio downstairs with the upstairs. So rather than having to go in and out from the outside like I do now, I'll be able to just walk up and down the stairs inside the house. RCMA No Color Powder. I am applying with a puff. I like to put a little bit on the puff and then just sort of work it into the puff, bounce it back onto the back of my hand and use that as where I reload the puff so I don't get too much powder at once. So it's a small house, but it is a beautiful property. Not developed all over it, and it's got, you know, it's a hillside. It's, let me tell you where the house is. The house is in the Hollywood Hills. It's in West Hollywood, um, and it is just a beautiful location. So many houses that we looked at, we kept feeling like, like one of them, there were buildings all around it. The house was beautiful, the grounds were gorgeous, but there were big, tall apartment buildings all around it, so you always felt like somebody was looking in on on your you in your backyard. Um, walk and talk. Uh, using the Sigma blush, they sent me this for free uh, so that I could tell you that it's available on QVC right now for $48. You get all six blushes and the blush brush. Um, I'm gonna do this on my cheeks. I'm gonna go with this just for a little contour. I'm gonna use a different brush just to keep it clean. Um, for the most part it, it's not developed we want to put in a vegetable garden that's something that's really important to us and there is a nice slope for that we'll have to probably cut in some tiers in order to be able to access everything because it is a bit of a steep slope um, but we're super excited and uh, that's my news and I'm going to I'm packing everything up. We're starting to, to pack. So videos, that is why videos have been scarce. We've been a little stressed and drinking more wine than we should as we've been going through this whole like emotional process. Um, Smashbox, and this is, eh, what is it? Smashbox, I can't see, but I'm going with just this sort of neutrally, nothing looking light brown, just working it in the crease.
I'm going to use the this vanilla color. And then on the lid, go in with my Naked 3. And I just want a little pink, a little shimmer. So I'm going to go in with this one right here. In the next few weeks, my makeup videos are going to be incredibly boring because pretty much packing up everything and then just working out of a small couple of bags while everything else is getting boxed up and then one of the last things that's gonna get packed is the background, but there will come a point where it's like, okay, that's gotta go and the makeup mirror's gotta get packed and the ring light's gotta get packed, so I'm gonna disappear on you for a little while and that would be why. Color Science Brow Palette. Going in with the dark tone. Oh, just a little to touch up my eyebrows on an angled brush. You know, you pack all that orange highlight under the eye and then you look and you're like, wow, I look tired. Where did all that go? I've not been sleeping great lately and it kind of shows. And that's just selling a condo and packing up a condo and then shopping for a house and dealing with, remember I told you we had foundation issues? The foundation issues with this house it hasn't managed its water well. And the water is draining towards the house, not away from the house. So basically, there, it's gonna cost a crap ton of money to redo all of the drainage system away from the house and to dig down and all of that stuff. And that was our big fear, but there's no damage to it, but it needs to be addressed and it needs to be addressed soon. Um, so we negotiated uh, to have the price reduced the, uh, about the amount that we're going to have to put into it to cover that and the seller agreed because it has not been maintained well and uh, so we are going ahead with the deal and we're very very excited about it even though we are immediately going to be living in a construction zone and I don't know how noisy the work is going to be around the house. Uh, they expect it to be about four weeks worth of work that they're doing, digging holes or under the house and around the house to properly waterproof it. So that is immediately what we're going to be moving into. So I don't know if it's a, that's going to impact my ability to make videos because I don't know if I'm going to be battling big pieces of equipment right outside my door. So. Time will tell on that one. Um, but I am going to take you along on this journey as we are knocking down walls and fixing up this house and redoing things. I absolutely intend to vlog about it. So not sure what I'm going to call that series of videos, but I'm going to have like, I, I don't know about you, but I am a total HGTV addict. I watch that all the time. So it's going to be like my own little mini HGTV as I just kind of clue you in on what's going on on our house. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, my own remodel eventually when I can afford it on my little downstairs area. But right at first, it's just going to look like this. And, and it, but it's not just being a studio. It's also the guest room and, and an entertainment space. So it's, it's a multi-use room. But we're going to be doing like major construction in the upstairs and I'll just I'll share that with you if you're interested. So I will be I will be dark for a little while. I'll try to pop in with videos once in a while, maybe more catch up videos than makeup videos. Walk and talk. This is 
I'm scattered. Marc Jacobs, Slow Burn. Told you not to watch this video for the makeup. You know what, I'm gonna put some highlighter on because this is just for auditions. It's just for camera, not for real life. So let's get some sparkle on those cheeks. Urban Decay, Afterglow in Sin. You know, same products I always use. So whenever I want very little makeup, I don't want to have a strong eyeliner showing, so I definitely tight line because then it just looks like I have thicker lashes. It doesn't look like makeup. I mean, you know it's makeup, I know it's makeup, but they're not gonna know. My eyelash curlers from Shiseido. Mascara is Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. It seems appropriate. It's interesting planning to move the cats because having these two separate spaces, if I move them into the upper space, there's gonna be a lot more movement and stuff going along right at first. And I think, and it, everything's gonna smell differently because that's gonna be all of like Howard's furniture where they visited, but they're not, that doesn't smell like home. And then downstairs, I'm gonna have all my furniture. So I think, on, on the day of the move, I will tuck them into a little closet area there and let them sort of chill out with food and sandbox while the move is going on and they'll be all safe and tucked away. Once the movers are gone and I close the doors and it's secure, then I'll open up those doors if they choose to come out. Colby will, Sequel won't. I'll give Sequel a nice box to hide in because he's a scaredy cat. Uh, and then I think I'm gonna leave them in that downstairs area for probably the first couple days. Now I'll be down there unpacking all day long. So it's not like I'm abandoning them, but at night they won't be coming to sleep with me. This will bother Sequel more than it bothers Colby. Uh, Colby doesn't choose to sleep with me. He stays on his pizza box. Sequel likes to sleep with his mom and papa. But for the first couple of days, I'm gonna just let them live down there and let them deal with just one traumatic move at a time. And then once we settle down and things are unpacked and it's a little more stable upstairs, then I'm gonna move them upstairs so they can live with us. And eventually we'll have the staircase and they can go up and down. And we're kind of planning on putting in a catio, a little cat outside area that we're gonna try to figure out if we can give them an upstairs and a downstairs and an access so they can go upstairs and downstairs even though we won't be able to. So that's kind of an ambitious project, but uh, why not have ambitions? <laughs> so I am going to, um, yeah, I'm gonna pack on a little more under eye concealer. It's on camera audition, they're not seeing me in person, so. <laughs> can hide a lot of a lot of sins
for real life, if you want to have a no makeup look, don't do this. Don't do what I'm doing right now. This is simply because my no makeup is a Hollywood no makeup and it is on camera. They didn't say no makeup, they said very little makeup. And you and I know this is not very little makeup, but hopefully it looks good on camera. That's all that matters. A little bit under the eyes. Oh, we should probably pat that down. And that's it. I love you bunches. Thank you for uh, listening to me ramble and uh, catching you up on what's going on in my world. And we're gonna have some different adventures. We're gonna be putting on makeup, but we're also gonna be doing a lot of decorating coming up in the near future as I pretend I have my own little HGTV show. And, uh, you know, without their budgets. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun and um, I'm just so blessed and uh, you have been with me for a long time and you're you're definitely part of that blessing that I have in my life and so thank you for that and I love you bunches I'm gonna get ready for my I'm gonna go dress myself for my audition now and I don't even know what that is at this point but fluff up the hair and do my auditions and I will talk at you very soon. We will have a couple more videos here before I pack everything up, so I'm not going away just yet. You got a couple more weeks with me before things really start disintegrating. Uh, and then we'll, we'll pick up production once we're at the new location. And uh, life is wonderful, isn't it? I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Five.